Hello Year 6 and welcome to Thursday's Maths Lesson. Well done for yesterday. Again, quite a lot of problem solving involving angles and you did a super job. So well done. Really impressed with all of the work. So today then, to get your brains warmed up, you will recognise this behind me. It's beat it like we do in our maths books. So I am going to give you, I've given you five little questions to have a go at to get your mind going. As you remember, we normally have a timer on in our math lessons. So you might want to do that as well and give yourself a minute or a couple of minutes when you've looked at the questions um, and have a little go at all of them. I'm just going to go through a couple of things just in case you have forgotten. So for the first one, remember this is going to bridge over to the next 100 because you've got 499. Remember, look really carefully at the tens column, but it'll also affect the hundreds because it's going over. Dividing by one, be really careful. Multiplying by five, you could do a little short multiplication there, or you could do 40 times five, three times five, and quickly add them together. Decimals, you might want to jot those down, but make sure you line up the decimal. Remember, the decimal point needs to line up. And finally, then, you've got a fraction one. So this is a fifth of 30. Remember, you just divide by the denominator, which is five. Okay, so pause the video now. Make sure you can see all the questions in your purple book. I want you to complete your beat it. Okay, so if you pause the video now and off you go. Okay, so you should have, have had a little go at those. So I will quickly run through them with you. So we have got 499 add 50. So remember, it is the tens column we are looking at. We are adding five tens, but it is going to affect the hundreds because you are going over into the next hundred. So it would go to 509 next, so that's one ten. Then you can just count in your tens. Then it will be 519, 529, 539, 549. And you should have 549. Okay, some of you might have done a little column. That's fine, but remember we are trying to practice as many mental methods as we can. Okay, so 9, 14, and then you would have got 549. 80 divided by 1 would just be 80. Okay, 40, 43, divided, 43 multiplied by 5. So you could have done 4 times 5 is 20, put your zero back on 200, 3 times 5 is 15, so 215 in your head, but you, some of you might have done this and done it that way as well, okay, either is fine, but remember we're trying to practice those methods in our head, okay, so then you've got 2.9 add 5.34, make sure that you lined up, you might have put a zero in to hold the place as well, like I have. So then you've got 12, 7, 8. So you should have had 8.24 there. Okay, then a fifth of 30 is 30 divided by 5, which is 6. Okay, because we divide by the denominator, so 30 divided by 5, which is 6, multiplied by the numerator, which is 1. Okay, so you should have 6 there. So I hope, see how you did. You might have set yourself a target and see what your score was. Okay, so our learning for today then. So it's really important today, before I flick over, that you don't just look at the page number and complete it. I've got lots of little activities for you to do because actually there's only a couple of bits out of the book that I want you to do. So I'd really like you to make sure that you are concentrating on what the task I've asked you to do. It is page, year six workbook today, page 33. Okay, so I'm going to show you which sections I want you to do. So we are only going to be looking at section one, this one at the top, and section two. We're not doing section three in case we haven't got a ruler at home. Okay, so section one and section two. So because there's only a couple of sections out of the book that we're looking at, I've got quite a few activities that I want us to do together on the board. When you send your work in to me, I do expect to see those activities completed. Okay? So, today then, our learning question, sorry, 
is, can I solve scale factor problems? Okay, so we are solving scale factors. Now, scale factors isn't something that we have looked at before. So the first job is to learn out what a scale factor is. Okay, so we're going to have a little look at that. So a scale factor is a way of either enlarging or making something smaller by a certain scale. You might have seen a little phrase saying not to scale. Okay, you might have seen it on maps. You might have seen it when we've been doing SATS questions. So it means where a shape has been taken and exactly enlarged to a certain scale. So if we look at this rectangle here, in rectangle A, so the length is three centimetres here. And the width is two centimetres here. OK, so that's rectangle A. In rectangle B, the length is six centimetres and the width is four centimetres. OK, so from rectangle A to rectangle B, everything has been doubled. So the width, two times two is four, and then the length, three times two is six. We call that our scale factor. So our scale factor is multiplied by two. It has doubled. And we call this a scale factor of two. So it's been increased by two. Okay, it's been doubled. So we don't, haven't just added two on, it's been doubled. It's been multiplied by two. So the scale factor for this one is multiplied by two. Okay, so that is what the scale factor is. It's how something has been enlarged or made smaller by a certain scale. In this one, it's multiplied by two because two times two is four, three times two is six. Okay, so that is what a scale factor is and that's what we're learning about today. If we jump on then and have a look on, at this one. So on the on rectangle A, the length is three and the width is one. And on rectangle B, the length is nine and the width is three. Okay? So then we've got to work out what the scale factor is. So we've got to work out how we get from three to nine. Okay? So to get from three to nine, if I use my three times table, three, six, nine, I have multiplied by three. To get from one to three, I've also multiplied by three. So my scale factor for this one is times by three. Okay, so I want you to have a little go at this now. So I've got three squares here. I haven't written the values on, so you're going to have to pause the video and, and you might have to do a little bit of counting. So I don't want you to look at B. I want you to see, I want you to look at A and C. And I want to see if you can work out what the scale factor is from A to C. How much has it been enlarged? So your first job, like I have done on these, is to look at how many squares across, how many squares down. It will be the same for both for a square. And then how much it has been enlarged. What has it been multiplied by? So pause the video now and have a little go at that. Okay, so if we have a look, so if you have, a, you might have jotted it down in your purple book, it's two centimetres, two centimetres, and this one is one, two, three, four centimetres and four centimetres. Okay, so to get from two to four, we multiply by two. So on this one, your scale factor is multiply by two. Okay, so you should have got times two. Okay, so we're going to do another couple of activities. So in your purple book again, I want you to have a look at this one. So shape A has been enlarged by a scale factor of times two again. Okay, so it's been enlarged by multiplied by two. What would be the new length and width. So you've got to multiply these by two and they both end in zeros. So you can put the zero and then take the zero off and put the zero back on. So I want you to pause the video now and enlarge this 
by times two. You don't have to do any drawing. You just need to multiply both of these by two. Okay, so you should have had a little go at that now. So the, the length then would be 90 times two. So nine times two is 18. Put my zero back on. So you should have a 100 centimeters for the length, 180 centimeters for the length. Okay, and then the width would be 60 multiplied by 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. Put your zero back on. So you should have had 180 and 120. Okay, so let's move on. So I want you to, again, pause the video and I'll, I'll see this in your purple book. So your square, so these are not drawn to scale. So you can't count the squares on this one. I've told you what the value is. So on this one then, it's six centimetres. And I want you to enlarge it by a scale factor of three. So what would that make this one? So remember, it's not to scale, so you can't just count the squares. It's six multiplied by three. So pause, pause the video and have a little go at that one. Okay, so enlarging this one by a scale factor of three then, you would have done six multiplied by three, which would give you 18. Okay, so you should have had 18. Okay, so I'm not going to go through this one. So this one is a rectangle, so you've got two values to look at. So to make this rectangle, remember it's not to scale, you've got to enlarge by a scale factor of six. So pause the video now and have a little go at that one. Okay, so you should have had a little go at that one. So five multiplied by six would give you, this one would be 30 centimetres. And the width, three times six, would be nine centimetres. So you should have 30 and nine. Okay, let's have a look and carry on. Okay, so now on your second section in your book, you've got some word problems like this. So I'm going to go through how you would answer them. So I'm going to just get myself a little highlighted. You might want to underline or circle any important words. So I've got a rectangle with a width of six. So width of six and a length of 12. It has been increased by a scale factor of seven. So my scale factor is seven. What and all I'm being asked is what's the new length. So I'm going to ignore the width. I don't need the width because I'm only being asked for the length. So just cross that out. The length is 12. It's increased by seven. So you can use your times tables for this. Okay. So it's increased by seven. So what's the new length? So I would do 12. Oops. Red. Multiplied by seven, which is 84 centimeters. Okay. So. It's the length, the scale factor is seven. What would be the new length? It would be the length multiplied by the scale factor of seven to give me 84 centimetres. Okay, so I want to have a little go at the next one on your own. So pause the video okay, and have a little go at that one. Okay, so the next one then. So you should have gone through this one. So this one then, so it's got a width of 8 and a length of 15. Again, the scale factor is 7. What's the new width I'm looking for now? So the width, I don't need the length. So I don't need the length. So my width would be 8 multiplied by 7. So you should have got 56. Okay, so see how you did on that one. Right, the next one then is a little bit more complex. I'm going to do two very, very similar to help you with your one in your book. So a circle has a radius okay, of 18. So you've got to cast your mind back to which bit was the radius of a circle. A radius of 18 and a diameter, oh sorry, after being increased by a scale factor of 6. So it's been increased. So that's after it's been increased. Okay, so after it's been increased, it's got, it's, the radius is 18 metres. Okay, now I've got to find what the original diameter was. Oh, 
So remember with a circle, so if I do a little circle to remind you, so remember with a circle, the radius, so the radius is this little bit, and the diameter is the whole of that. And remember the diameter is double the radius. So to work this one out then, so listen really careful because you've got a couple of questions like this one. So to work the diameter out, so if the, the radius is now 18, the diameter would be double that, okay? So the diameter will be 18 multiplied by two to find the diameter. So I'm just gonna put D for diameter. So the diameter is 18 times by two, which is 36. Okay, so that's the new diameter, but that's been enlarged by a scale factor of six. So now I've got to take it back down to the original. So the, the, in, the inverse of multiply is to divide. So now it's, so it was enlarged by two. Now I've got to divide this 36 by two to get it back down to the original size. Okay, oh, sorry, a scale factor of six. So I've got to divide it by six the scale factor is 6 and 36 divided by 6 is 6 so the original diameter would be 6 okay because I'm reducing it back down that one's quite tricky lots of thinking for that one so this is one really similar and then the one in your workbook is really similar to this one as well okay so the circle has a radius I'm going to highlight it with you before you work it out has a radius of 12 after being increased by a scale factor of three. Okay, so it's been increased by three. So when we, at the end, we've got to reduce it back down by three. So we'll divide by three. What was the original diameter? Okay, so remember, to find the diameter, you would double this. Okay, and then to find the original, you would divide that answer by three. So see if you can have a little go of that one. Okay, so let's go through it together. So to find the diameter, remember D for diameter, I do 12 multiplied by 2, which is 24. And then to reduce it back down, so I'd have to do, to find the original diameter, I do 24 divided by 3, which is 8. Okay, so that one is quite a tricky one, and you've got one really similar and almost exactly the same in your book, so that should help you. Okay, so you might want to complete now the work in your book. So I'm just going to quickly show it to you. So we've just, section two, we've just been through really similar questions to that. Section one, so this one asks you to work out, in each question it's been enlarged right down the scale factor. So all you need to do is choose a side, so this one here, and count how much it's been enlarged by. So on this side here, it's one there, and it's one, two, three there. So how much has it been increased by? So it's three there, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine there. So use the relationship between those two numbers to work out what it's been enlarged by. And then the same with this one. What would be the scale factor? Remember, it's multiplied by something. Okay, so choose a side. So like on this one, you might choose, so that one's one. But on the new shape, it's one, two, three, four. So how do you get from one to four by multiplying? And these two, we've just been through questions really, really similar. So you now want to pause the video now, have a go at that. But then I've got some challenge questions that I want you to do in your purple book as well. Okay? Right, so you should have had a go at that now. So we've got a few challenge questions. So the first one then says that you've got to enlarge the shapes by a scale factor of three. So you've got to enlarge each of these by three. Now, the shape doesn't have to be drawn to scale, as we've discussed. You can just draw it, but then label it with the right scale factor. So I'll show you with the triangle. So I might just write these on a little bit bigger for you. So I'll show you on the triangle. So on the triangle, so I've got to do it by three. So this side's three, and this side's 1.5. Okay, so I'll draw my triangle. So then I've got to do 1.5 multiplied by 3 to get this side. 
So I know, so 1.5 multiplied by three, put my decimal point in, five times three is 15. One times three is three plus one is four. So that would be 4.5 centimeters. And this one, do three times three, which is nine. So you just need to write, draw your shape underneath. Remember, it doesn't need to be to, to scale. Okay, and then do your values. Multiply them by the re. Okay, to enlarge it by a scale factor of re. Okay, so pause the video now and have a little go at those in your purple book. Okay, so your final challenge then for today is the second challenge. So this one then, it's been enlarged. This square, which is the size of all 15 centimetres, has been, it's been enlarged by a scale factor of three. So your first job is to work out what it's, each side is now. Okay, remember they're all the same on a square. And then you've got to calculate the perimeter so we've got to remember what perimeter is. Remember, that's adding together all of the outside. So that's your second challenge for today. OK, so I'm looking forward to seeing the work in your workbooks and all of your working out in your purple book. I know there's been a lot to take in again today, um, but I'm looking forward to seeing all of your work and a big well done for all this fantastic home learning.